All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, this video is a new and updated hunting tutorial after the hunting update. I already love this update because, as you can see, you can now ride deers. Uh, I think this is a glitch, but it's a pretty funny glitch nonetheless. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the skill tree for hunters and the ones I think that you should buy first, as well as where you can find deer and rabbits in case you want to find and catch some of them. So without further ado, let's hop right off of this deer and hop straight into a new video. Let's start off by heading straight into the conscription center at whatever capital you're in. So I, as always, am in the monastery, which is my personal favorite. So I'm going to head straight into the conscriptions area and open it up. And I'm going to go over to Hunter and click on the skill tree. So here you can see the Hunter skill tree. It has a lot of them, a lot of different skills, obviously. And I'm going to go over the ones that I chose first and the ones I think that you should choose first as well. So in my opinion, the best skill to choose first is the tracker. This lets you find deer in a hundred stud radius and they will all appear on your map. They will also start to glow when you get into range, which is also very nice to have because you can see them through walls and other things like that. So this is the one that I upgraded first and my personal favorite. If you have money, enough money to buy perhaps a baker rifle, which can be upwards of a thousand coins depending on the taxes each time. I can afford a baker's rifle, so I upgraded this path, which is the scout, clean your rifle, and finally the ranger, which allows you to use the baker rifle, which is very nice to have. I next upgraded the campfires, the rabbit snares, and then I'm eventually going to get bear traps, but I do need to unlock the soup and the tents before I can even unlock the bear traps. Now if you don't have a lot of money starting out, I'd recommend you buy the knife polish, which allows you to start with an iron knife instead of a rusty one. So this would be nice if you can't always afford a gold knife or anything like that. Also, if you would like to fish, I would also recommend starting with the knife polish because then you can unlock the fishing rod and other things like that. There's also bear slayer, which deals 50% extra damage to bears and at the end you'll get hunting boots, which will lower your walk speed reduction when you're walking on terrain that isn't cobbled. Now, you can also get Pelt Carver, which you can trade bear fur for unique cosmetics at the Magistrate, like a bear skin cape, or a bear tooth. So that's all for the hunting skill tree. Um, make your own decisions, those are just my recommendations. Now let's get into finding some deer to hunt. Alright, before we get into the deer hunting, let's head straight into this tool shop and get ourselves a gold knife. You're gonna want a gold knife because you will get more items every time you kill a deer. If there's no gold knives in stock, you can either ask a blacksmith to craft you a gold knife or just get a steel knife. You will spawn in with a rusty knife, so if you have no extra money, just stick with the rusty knife. However, just note that whichever knife you do get, you'll get more items with an upgraded knife as opposed to a rusty knife. So as you can see, I have one gold knife in my bank, so I'm gonna take it out to go mining. After heading out of the conscriptions area, let's head straight over to the firearms and purchase ourselves a hunting rifle, if you can afford it. So I already have one in my inventory, so I'm not gonna buy one, but I'd recommend definitely getting a hunting rifle. And if you can get the skill tree, get a baker's rifle if there's one in stock. All right, so after that, I like to purchase a shop. That way, while I'm hunting, I can generate a little extra money. So, as you can see, I've made like 150 coins, and you make your money back pretty fast, which is nice. Now, if you need some food, head into the tavern, buy some bread or some cooked meat, but you'll get some soon. So now, let's head straight out of the monastery, and press M, or your map, and if you have the skill trait unlocked, you can see where all the deer are. So deer spawn here, right by the water mill and logging camp kind of area. And there's also deer that spawn right by Camp Dogwater and some that spawn down by the factory area over there. So those are the three spots that you will find deer and you can always check if there's any there by pressing on your map. So here's one of my rabbit snares. And as you can see, I didn't get any rabbits yet. So if you want to catch some rabbit, place down a snare um, and you might be able to find some. All right, so now, Let's check out these new deer models. 
So as you can see, I think they look very good. And as you can see, this one's glowing right now. They look much- oh, well, he just walked into a tree. They look much better than the old ones, and I really enjoy the new models. They also have a great new animation for when one is killed. They also have a much smoother walking animation, which is nice. Perfect, so see that. See how gracefully it falls. I really like it. It's kind of sad because it's dying, but they made it look really good. So you can then skin the deer, as you can see this guy doing, and with his knife, he's grabbing it and just harvesting it. And you'll, you'll get leather and raw meat, and I'll show you what to do with those in a little bit. Perfect, just like that, I've taken out this deer. So, I'm gonna skin it and see what I get. Perfect. Two deer hide and two raw meat. So just do this for a while until all the deer near you have been killed. There's also rabbits in this new update, and they're a little hard to find. I found one, and I will show the clip of me killing it right now. Oh, it's a rabbit right here. Let's let's see if we can uh, take it out. Sorry, I got distracted, but uh, this is the first rabbit I've seen in this update, and I want to try and kill it. So I think I did spook it, because the rabbit's perfect. I got it. Alright, so let's reload this rifle, and we can skin this rabbit. The rabbits also look very good in this update, and I really like how the new models look. Perfect. So, I'm gonna skin this little guy, and we'll see if we get a good amount of resources. I doubt we will, because they're so small, but you never know. Oh my gosh, wow, okay. You actually get a ton of resources from these uh, small rabbits. So as you can see, rabbits do give you more uh, meat than deer, which is nice, and that's probably because they're so small. They are, however, because of this, harder to kill. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this guy. He is uh, he's riding a deer right now. So they did remove one of my favorite abilities, which was the ability to reload your gun as you're skinning the deer, but that's okay. It was a little unfair anyways. So now you have to reload and skin separately. Now there is one major change, and that is now hunting deer without a rifle is very, very much more difficult because they will flee away after you start to hit them. See, and it takes a while to catch up to them, so I would recommend if you can spare the money, just buy a hunting rifle. It will make your life so much easier rather than having to chase around these deer and try to kill them. All right, so let's head back to our main village, which for me is the monastery, and I will show you what to do with these newly found um, raw meat and also deer hide. You may even have some rabbit hide if you were able to successfully catch a rabbit. Let's check my trap over here that I set. As you can see, no rabbit yet. Alright, so now that we're back in the monastery, here's what to do with, first of all, your raw meat. Whether it be raw fish or raw meat. So all you're going to want to do is come one of these campfire emoji things. Campfires can be found in the monastery, the village, the citadel, the city square, Camp Dogwater, and this little tavern right outside of Camp Dogwater. Those are the only places that you can craft your raw meat into cooked meat or your raw fish into cooked fish. So let's do that real quick and I'll let you know when I'm done. Alright, perfect. So now that we're done crafting our raw meat, let's head over to this little leather symbol, which kind of looks like a leather symbol from Minecraft, and craft our raw hide into leather. So, as you can see, the spots to find these leather crafters are also in the Monastery, Village, Citadel, City Square, or Camp Dogwater. Those are the five locations you can craft in. So first, we can craft our deer hide, but also, if you have any rabbit hide, you can craft it here. However, you do need two rabbit hide to craft one piece of leather, whereas you only need one piece of deer hide to craft one piece of leather. Now that we're done crafting our leather, I'll show you what to do with this newly found leather. So let's head into this shop and I'll show you how you can sell it. So here you can sell your leather. There's already 10 units in stock, so I'm not going to sell anymore because the price does change at 10. And after the price changes, you don't want to sell anymore. See, you only make 25 coins, whereas if there's only 9 in stock, you'll make 125 coins. So it's much more efficient to sell when the price is lower than 10. Now, let's sell our 
cooked meat. If you don't want to turn your raw meat into cooked meat, you can also sell it as raw meat. You'll just make a little bit less coins. As you can see, you'll make seven coins as opposed to nine coins. So I'm going to sell some of my meat. The price never changes here, so there's really any time you want is good to sell it. I like to keep some cooked meat on me because it's nice to have when I'm either a soldier or just as a great food source while walking around. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this hunting tutorial and go out, get some raw meat, get some raw deer hide, get some raw rabbit hide, and have a good time all around hunting. See you in the next video.